Hello Aries and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you so much for joining me for the full moon in Virgo and the spring equinox astro tarot reading. Okay, so the full moon in Virgo occurs on Friday, March 18th at 3.18 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone. And then that full moon is going to trine with Pluto. Trines are favorable aspects. And this is going to be sending out uh, good vibrations that is going to empower this Virgo full moon. Full moons represent completions. So something is being completed, something that you may have started in the autumn with the new moon in Virgo, which is when we start things. And full moons is when we complete something. Okay, then that moon is going to slide into Libra at 4.11 a.m. Friday, March 18th. So it's not going to be in Virgo full moon for very long, less than an hour. And then on the following day, Saturday, March 19th, that Libra moon is going to trine with Mars, your ruling planet, Aries, and Venus and Saturn. All three of those planets are in Aquarius. Now, Venus is going to be squaring Uranus at this time. Squares are challenging. So Uranus is challenging Venus in how she's showing up in the world because um, Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus right now, is about how you succeed in the world, your, how you make your money, how you do business. And Virgo is about taking care of herself as well as being of service to others. She wants those around her to be healthy and well. And then, so that's going to make for a tumultuous week. Uh, Mars is quick to fly off the handle with its temper. Uh, it can be especially difficult for those who want to express their individuality. And Aries, you are the first spark on the astro wheel. You are about the I am, the ego, who am I? And when you're expressing yourself, you might feel like the world is turning against you. So you might feel like a walking target, uh, feeling on edge. And this is going to continue after we have the spring equinox on March 20th at 11.33 a.m. And then just 12 minutes after that. So when we have the spring equinox, the sun in Aries is opposing a Libra moon, as it should be. But that's only going to last for 12 minutes because then the moon is sliding into Scorpio. Now, there is an in interesting relationship with Aries and Scorpio because Scorpio is a water sign. Aries is a fire sign. But Aries is about the I am and it's attracted to power. Scorpio can be a powerful sign. It is the underworld. It is secrets, the occult, that which is hidden. So this can create those more feelings of, or sending people that are out to mislead and manipulate you. So look out, be on the lookout for people who are trying to mislead and manipulate you. This is going to affect everybody's astrological signs. So this is just a ripple vibration that is going to be felt by everyone. So let's get into the reading now. First of all, because it is going to be a tumultuous week, Let's look at the Divine Tea Time. Okay, we have flower, hibiscus tea, 
detoxing. So this time is going to be about detoxing. Uh, it could be that you have toxic people around you, a uh, toxic environment. This is going to help you clean that up. Um, so have a cup of hibiscus tea, whether it's hot or cold, however you choose to drink this. This will give you that time out to reflect on the crazy week ahead because it is a crazy weekend of the full moon and the spring equinox and the following week after that. So since we have some earth sign energy here with the Virgo full moon and the Pluto in Capricorn, let's look at your earth magic oracle card. And here we have fire, passion. Okay, that's very fitting for you, Aries, because you are a fire sign. You're very passionate about what you do. And then we have shaman, ancient healing wisdom. Okay, many of you might be passionate about some old healing traditions, some ancient healing traditions. And this could be with teas, some herbal healing. This can also be energy healing. This can be something um, that you're studying. This could be something that's been passed on through your family. Okay, and then with the Witch's Oracle, we have the Book of Shadows, The Secret. So yeah, this might be some secret ancient healing wisdom that you discover or again has been passed on through your family tradition and it's now being revealed to you. You may have come across your grandma's old recipe book and found some interesting things to try. Okay, then we have in bulk. Okay, in bulk occurs on Groundhog's Day, February 2nd, and this is the day that marks in between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. This is that in between time, there's awakening. This is usually when you start seeing crocuses blooming, bringing in the hope of spring. And this is what wakens your passions. Okay, so let's get into the energy to get an idea of what kind of energy is flowing here for you. Okay, Aries, we have number seven, a deep breath. And that is going to be perfect for that Libra moon just shortly after we have the full moon in Virgo. And for many of you, this could be a sigh of relief, a deep breath to relax and have your cup of hibiscus tea and just not let other people's agendas cause you stress. So let's see what your spirit animal guide is going to be that's going to help you. Okay, 59, Starfish Spirit, open to infinite possibility. Okay, so when you're feeling that things are getting too much, you may see stars that, or starfish. This is the way starfish is going to communicate with you and remind you to open up to the infinite possibilities. Take a deep breath. You're good enough and dive in to your passions that have been awoken. And you might want to keep a journal, keep your this passion journey, journal it into a book and see how it progresses. And when you write, this might be the perfect time to have that cup of hibiscus tea. 
Okay, because spring is awakening, I feel like the fairies like to come alive during this time. So let's see what your fairy blessing is. Here we have a blessing of belief. Yeah, believe in yourself. Open yourself up to those infinite possibilities. Take a deep breath and sigh. Let it out. Okay, I'm just going to read a little bit about your blessing here. Okay, the fairy gift of restoring and strengthening your faith in the fairy. Your belief in the fairy may have wavered at times as the human world invades your own enchanted space. This blessing brings you back to the belief that will help you through your days. The unshakable conviction that you have allies and friends in other realms and they will be with you, assist you, dance with you, and appreciate you. The gift of belief restores you a lost piece of your soul. So this could be some soul retrieval, which is an ancient healing wisdom. Okay, so for when we lose our belief, a part of ourselves can fade and dim, becoming quietly sorrowful, lessening the brightness of our days. So with this gift is return to you belief, a sense that you and the fairies are entwined, one with the other, and your soul grows and becomes ripe again with belief. Let there be sureness in you, a quiet and loving conviction that there are indeed fairies, that you are a part of that world and the natural world is the holiest place we have been given. Despair shall lift, doubt will vanish, and you will be returned to the faith that will brighten this day and every day to come. Believe, fairy friend, for they believe in you. A gift of faith, a, of belief is now yours. So this is coming back to your magical self to your childlike self, to your imagination. Okay, let's go deeper into this reading with the Tarot. Okay, Aries, we start with the Seven of Pentacles. Waiting for the right time, patience before you pick. Then we have the Nine of Cups, your contentment, you're happy where you're at. And then the King of Cups, yeah, you're going to be feeling all right. And then we have the Ace of Cups. This is your healing cup of hibiscus tea. <laughs> and then we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you are on a quest. This could be your gardening quest, uh, planting those seeds. This is having a goal and going after that goal. Knights are instigators of change. And the Knight of Swords represents your intellect. Uh, so this could be a shift in the way that you see things in opening up to the infinite possibilities. And you can do that through breath. Okay, then we have the Nine of Swords. This is when that tumultuous week starts kicking in and causing you some anxiety. This is the time for you to also have 
that cup of hibiscus tea. Then we have the six of wands. You will be victorious. You will be able to overcome those stresses, probably because you're not going to deal with other people's uh, negative agendas. And eight of wands, yeah, you're going to, that's going to change quickly. You're just going to be, no, nope, I'm not dealing with this. You have to leave. You're disrupting the vibration of my space, my happy space. And I don't want to be stressed. If you can't come into my space in a calm, relaxed manner, you must go. Okay, then we have the hangman. This is, you're just going to hang out during this tumultuous week. Let things be as they are. And you're just going to mind your own business and focus on your goals, what it is that you want to accomplish during the spring equinox energy time. So let's look at the moon energy here, going back to the full moon in Virgo. Let's see what kind of moon magic there is for you. Okay, here's your artwork. And we have the moon goddess Hina. I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. That's beautiful with this ancient healing wisdom. Okay, now let's look at your fairy gift, your fairy whispers. Okay, nature's messengers, we send you a butterfly, a sure sign we are with you. We often cannot be seen due to our differing vibrations. So step into nature, come closer and answer, and the answer you desire will be yours. And this is with awakening, the passions. How are you going to follow your passions that have been awoken uh, on Groundhog's Day. What was it that woke up for you on that day? What has changed in your life since then? How are you growing? And what secrets are being revealed to you? So these are your messages, Aries. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial. And I hope that you enjoy that hibiscus tea. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, take care.